Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me. In today's video, I'll be showcasing a new set that's part of our holiday release called Winterberry Bouquet. This is a stamp and stencil combo, which makes it so easy and fun to create these beautiful berry bouquets. So the Winterberry Bouquet is a six by eight stamp set and you'll also receive tucked inside the package with the stamp set, you'll find a step-by-step -step guide for how to stamp and stencil all of the, the elements from this set. And there's also a five piece stencil set. There are four steps for the berry bouquet, the large, large bouquet. And then there's also a masking stencil. Your masking stencil will come tabbed into the background just because there are so many little fine bits and pieces. And so when yours arrives, you can just go ahead and take a scissors and snip that until it comes away from the backing. So besides the large focal point bouquet, the stamp set also includes all bits and pieces for creating uh, an assortment of smaller sprigs and leaves, which are great for adding as accents or building bigger fuller bouquets if you wanna do more of a layered design. There's of course also a matching die set so let's go ahead and get started and create one of these pretty bouquets. You will notice that the four piece stencil set that creates the bouquet, they are numbered. Up in the upper right hand corner, you will see a number one, two, three, and four. And you can stencil those in that order or you can do your own order as well. If you think a different um, order would be a little bit easier, you can definitely do that. I have an A2 panel of white cardstock, which is the same size as my stencil. So it makes it super easy just to line everything up. I'm going to be creating some pretty red berries and so I have my Festive Berries Oxide ink and a blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead and stencil all of the different steps to this bouquet and the berries is number one. Now I'm moving on to step two. Step two is all of the branch details. I'm going to be using tw uh, Gathered Twigs ink for this step. And once again, I can just line up that outer edge of the stencil with the outer edge of my A2 panel, and also just check to make sure that all of those little berry branches are lining up with the berries that we stenciled from step one. Okay, steps three and four are two different leaves. So we're gonna start with step three. And once again, just lay our stencil over the top of our panel and making sure that everything's just nicely lining up. I'm using some bundled sage ink. So I like to create a lot of depth and shading in this leaf step. And so I kind of like to just very lightly catch the tips of the leaves, but then build up some deeper color down towards the bottom where they would meet either the stems or the berries. Just really kind of adds a lot of interest to the image and it's super easy to do. It's looking so pretty already and now we can go on to step four and finish out those leaves. I'm using speckled egg, which is a kind of a grayish blue and it'll just be really pretty with that soft green that we stenciled for the first step of the leaves. Our stenciling is done and now we can move on and add some more details with the stamps. To do my stamping, I'm going to be using my Misty to make it really easy to position these. And like I said, this is a great set for doing multiples. So if you stencil your berry bouquet and then you can go ahead and pull your Misty out and set up your two stamping steps for adding the details to the leaves and the berries and just super quick, you can do multiples and just keep it set up in your Misty. So I'm positioning my A2 panel um, horizontally in my Misty. And so I can set up both the leaf and the berry steps in my same Misty at the same time. It makes it just really quick and easy to move um, my panel up and down in my Misty to do those steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the berry detail and just make sure I have that lined up nicely go ahead and close my lid to set that up in my misty and then i'm going to be using aged mahogany oxide ink to stamp this berry detail now you can see how pretty that made our berries look now we can go ahead and move our panel to the bottom half of the misty and we'll set up our leaves 
So the leaf detail for the large berry bouquet is this large stamp set up here in the upper right corner. The rest of the smaller bits and pieces down on the bottom half of the stamp are for all of the individual little berry sprigs and branches. So these two up here, the larger stamps, are for this large berry bouquet. So I'll go ahead and set up this step as well. Close our lid to position that, and I'm going to be stamping this with speckled egg. I want a little more depth of color down towards the bottom of those leaves, kind of just how we stenciled them as well, how we had darker color down towards the bottom. And so I'm going to ink my stamp again and just kind of concentrate the ink on those the, le the base of those leaves, just like we did with the stenciling. So I'll stamp that a second time. And there I think our bouquet is finished. So our bouquet is finished and you can either leave it intact in the panel to create just a one layer card or if you're using your dies, you can go ahead and die cut it after you have stenciled and stamped it or you can do it before too. It's up to you, whatever order you prefer to work in, but it, the die is open so it's nice and easy to position that over the top of your finished bouquet and go ahead and die cut that. For today's project, I'm going to leave it just on the panel and we're actually going to add some color to the background using the masking stencil. So I have my masking stencil snipped away from the backing and I treated it with some pixie spray so that all those little bits and pieces stay in place while I ink up the background. So I'm going to layer that right over our bouquet. And then I'm going to take some speckled egg and just really lightly add some depth and shading to that background. So we're done inking that up and we can pull our mask away and check out the result. So we had just add some pretty color to the background. So we're going to take it one step further and we're going to add just a little more detail as well. So I'm going to take some white acrylic ink. This is Amsterdam um, titanium white acrylic ink. It's one of my favorites for splattering. I'm going to wet my brush and dip that in my ink and just add some splatters. If you want to add some sparkles to your berries, you can pull out some stickles and just add some sparkles as well. We're going to keep this nice and simple and just add a sentiment. I have a couple sentiments here that were done with our new Opposites Attract holiday set. It's just going to say wishing you a Merry Christmas and we'll add those over top of our bouquet. And it was a super fun and quick card. So our card is finished. It was quick and easy to put together. Like I said, it'd be great for mass producing. Or if you want to get more adventurous, you can pull out the dies and add all sorts of dimension and all sorts of different possibilities for designs with this set as well. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this peek into a new set we have coming to the shop on Thursday, October 7. It's part of our Christmas time collection and it's called Winterberry Bouquet.